Stanley Earl Fox enlisted in the Marines in 1966. He went to boot camp in San Diego, California the same year. He stayed there for eight weeks. When he got out of boot camp, they changed it from eight weeks to 12 weeks. While in boot camp, if you messed up, they would make you duck walk all the way to the mess hall. The mess hall was where they ate at. Another punishment included walking the troops out to the beach and making them lay on their backs in the sand. Sergeants would yell, make it rain, maggots. They would have to throw the sand up in the air. Afterwards, they would go to the mess hall and eat with sand all over them. When done eating, they would get to go and shower. After getting out of boot camp, he got sent to a rifle range where he learned to shoot the M1 Grand and Colt 45. He earned two medals, the rifle sharpshooter and the rifle expert. If somebody messed up there, they would pull the, pull the bolt back on the gun and tell you to stick your thumb in the chamber. They then would let the bolt go and smash your thumb. After learning to shoot, he had to go and take a test to see what category he qualified in, or in other words, what he's, his skills were. Stanley ended up qualifying to be a track vehicle mechanic. He then got transported to Oceanside, California, where he learned to repair any vehicle that had a track, and they all had guns on them. One, one of the tanks engines that burned diesel produced 750 horsepower. The Amtrak tank that had 1,450 horsepower used gasoline. In 1967, he got transported to Vietnam. He volunteered to go. Da Nang, Vietnam, is where he was stationed. There was an airfield, airfield there. The Marines was on the north side of the bay, air base. The Air Force was on the south side of the airstrip. There was a mountain on the north side of the 